everyone and welcome back. You'll remember on uh, the previous video, if you watched that, I was making these little tail lights. This one still needs a little bit of work. They both do, but this I've about got the shape right, how the stance kind of slants to one side. So I've got that pretty much perfect. And I was digging through, I bought Lexan or this, whatever it is, acrylic sheet to make tail lights. And then I bought this to make the turn signals. And I was going through the hoard here, and I've got a few got a few taillight lenses I can experiment with. And some of them aren't in great shape. Like, this one's busted. But I think it would be so cool, and only a few people that are nerds like me would get it, to make it where, basically, you could see that it says, Hella. I wish I could get the full Made in Germany on there. But Hella lenses... So if I can cut two of these down, I'm going to practice on this one because it's busted up here. If I could cut two of them down to fit into here, and they kind of have a curve to them. They have a bow, and it would kind of give this less of a flat look, more of kind of a domed look. So if I can find two that are maybe busted on the bottom or not in great shape up on the tip top and use those, that one's pretty good. That one's got some cracking up top. So if I could maybe use two of the ones that have cracking on them. Up the top, this one's pretty cracked up top too. And then keep all the good ones uh, as our backups. I think that might work. I'd still like to try uh, making a set for them, but it'd be neat if I could make them where they said hella. Yeah, let's give it a try. Well, this is kind of what we look like when we're done. I'm not 100% sure that's what I'm going to go with. I sacrificed one of them and thought I'll put it on there and kind of see what it looks like. It definitely looks better when you stack the lens past the light. So I'm going to wait and see maybe if I decide to make a mold out of plaster of Paris or something, you know, and can do a little bit better job of mimicking what was actually there. That's okay. I mean, if this is what I have to go with, uh, I'm good with it. These lights still need just a little bit more work, but I mean, it would look pretty good if they were lit up. So that's what I have uh, done with those. And then I put the body back on the chassis and it fits great. I placed the Clicos well enough to where I can set it back down on there. I made this piece that's up front here. Sorry, I'm getting a glare. And that fits good. I need to pull in the two um, inner fender wells just a little bit. I don't have a Clico at all in that. But those look those look good. It keeps his feet and whatnot out of the tires and up front. So I think that'll work perfect. So I think I'm ready to move on to door panels now. And then we've got the wiring harness. And we're pretty much done with the stuff we have to build. The stores are still closed for retail. So I can't make uh, the seats yet because I can't get uh, vinyl for, from the upholstery place. I usually go to, there's a little place in town called Restore. I don't know if you have those where you guys are, but ours carries uh, vinyl from, a, from the cast-offs of a purse factory. And it's great vinyl. It's what my bus seats are made out of. And you can get it for about five bucks a roll. And it'll have, oh, three to four yards on it. And that's usually enough to do what you need to do. So we've got seats, door panels, wiring harness, and paint everything up, and we are pretty well done with this. Oh, we got the horn button is on there. Got that from uh, Randy Carlson. Thanks for sending that to me. So let me get to working here. Everybody says I talk too much. So let me get to cracking, and I'll bring you back when we got something else to show. The body's been sitting outside. That's about, I don't know, two or three days worth of pollen. Yeah, I hope you don't have allergies. <laughs> the whole thing's just coated. Needs a good wipe down. And then a buff. I don't know if you remember or not, but there were a couple scratches while we're on the subject or on this headlight and on the hood. And there were even some over on that headlight. Uh, I took Marvel Mystery Oil just simple marble mystery oil, and put it down in the cracks. I'll try and put a picture here so you can see how bad it was before I put that on there. And that seemed to take care of it. So I'll probably just go 
over the whole thing and anytime you see something like that we'll just put a little oil down in it into the gel coat and that should take care of it this body was not perfect when we got it i don't know for sure but i think you're supposed to trim this edge right here i know my kid so i'm gonna leave that for now and then if later on we decide to trim it out i'll trim it but i know he's gonna bump it and crunch it and hit things and so we're just gonna leave it for a bit and if i decide to go around and cut the the mold line off i will later somebody has already cut it on the front and i do think somebody did that and that wasn't from the factory because it's very uneven so we'll leave it for now and decide what we're going to do later all right get busy these are going to be the door panels got those all cut out painted white i did a gloss paint just a gloss white on there and then I'm checkerboarding them with black. So I have taped off and then I got to go back still and cut out uh, all the ones that are doubled over. So where the tape crosses itself so that it'll end up looking something like that after I've cut all those out. Checkerboards are kind of a pain. The floor I'm standing on is checkerboarded. So I've done it a few times, but I think they're going to look really cool when they're done. And I've already gone through and cut the holes where they're bolts over so the wrinkles that are up here or where those are. So let me get that other one finished cutting out and then we'll go out and spray paint these and see what they look like. couple boo-boos especially up there where the panel goes up under and bolts to the car where the I pop the holes through but other than that I don't think any of these little areas that it kind of crept under the tape are going to show there'll be a seat right here uh, there's only maybe one area one square right here that I might have to touch up maybe right here other than that I'm not going to worry about it. it's a go-kart for crying out loud I think those look pretty cool I think he'll like them so Pull the tape off the other one, and we got those done. Well, I need to clear coat them, but the hard part's done. Well, that's not all the way in there, but that I think that's going to look pretty cool. The holes are, are in it up here, so it'll actually kind of sit up under that lip. And I just used the screws that the trim piece is attached with to attach it. I think it's going to look pretty good in there. He'll like it. That's all that matters. All right. Let me pull those off and go ahead and clear coat them while we have them out. And then those will be ready to put in. Unfortunately, I have to put them in before I put the body on. Because I can't slide it back in. This one, I, the driver's side one, I definitely cannot get even in the car without lifting the body off. So, like everything on this, it has to be, uh, has to be the hard way. I'm anxious to get those in there though. A couple days later, and I've kind of gotten bogged down with some things, and so I had to stop on this for a little bit and take care of those things. But back on the little go kart, and I've got the roll bar just kind of tacked in where I want it, and I've gone. Can't see it real well. Let me see if I can get a light back there, and I'll show you what I did. Now we're back on the little go kart. It's a couple days later. I got kind of bogged down with some things. But I got the the uh, roll bar in back here, and let me get a flashlight. And I'll just kind of show you what I I went to back there. So it's kind of uh, kind of tight in here, and going on the the other side of that engine would require me to kick it back, and it was just getting too many complicated bends in there. So I have kicked a little kickstand back. To that back piece of frame, put a crossbar there that falls underneath the bead rolled section. And then the battery will go down in that little tray that's down there. So we clear the clutch by about a half inch. <laughs> Get you in there where you can see it. Just barely clears, but it does clear. I pretty much am certain that is probably the only place we can put a roll bar in. And it might be a little tall if I do decide to go with a convertible top eventually you know you have a, a top that comes up and over 
So I'll play around with that and kind of see what I think height-wise. But sitting in it, that clears his head by a couple inches. So for right now, it's good. I could certainly shorten it a little bit, probably. But we're going to leave it for right now. I had to end up cutting... I had this all nicely trimmed out around the gas cap where it just looked beautiful and the, the seat came back and hit it just perfect. And uh, The best made laid plans of mice and men, I guess. <laughs> when I went to put the roll bar in, I couldn't kick it forward as much as I wanted to. So I had to cut two little loops out for that. And when I did it, it just looked dumb because they were, they were not centered and it just looks stupid. So I just cut this whole thing out and we'll just put some of that trim along there. Door panels are in. Both sides are in. I was, whoa, excuse me. I was going to put an ashtray in one of them and I'm still planning on it. Frames all painted. Floor needs to go back in. I put a seat post stay. So there's a rod. When I take this out, I'll show you. There's a pole that just comes straight up. There are holes drilled in those seat post brackets. And so it just sits down over that. I'm debating again on whether or not to cut that off. It makes a perfect standing spot if you're riding kind of behind him. So you can stand on that. It makes a little platform for you. Kind of a nice place to sit and kind of keep him on track. So I'm still debating on that. I don't know if I want to box it in, fill it in, or cut it and move it forward. We'll see. Could stand on the bumper too. But let me get going on a few more things and I will uh, I'll bring you back when we've got something to show you. Took that body off and now you can kind of see a little better what I ended up doing with that. And like I said, that battery will fit right in there. So everything's tucked in pretty tight, but we clear. Probably three quarters of an inch between that and the... It doesn't look like it, but at least a half inch between that and the, the belts. And I put that stabilizer there so it can't actually come back into that, even if it has pressure on it. So I think we're good. Finished welding that up, slapped some paint down here. I cleaned everything up here. Kind of cleaned up the steering box a little bit. Painted it. Got to put the uh, floors back in. I decided not to paint them. They're going to be covered with carpet anyway. No sense wasting spray paint. So I think we are pretty well ready to finish this one up. Call it a day. Well, the floors are back in. I took all the spray paint and just spray painted up here. I don't think you'll be able to see any of that there. And then I went under the fender well sprayed that with just a probably should have used a flat black but sprayed that so hopefully you won't see any of that and I'm just getting ready to spray and put the carpet in I'm gonna use uh, this 3m high strength 90 contact adhesive and then I went down with some spray paint just the areas that were exposed metal just slapped a little bit of paint on those so we should be ready to put some carpet in. Well, I think with that, I'm going to call it an evening, call this a video, and we'll catch up and get all the finishing touches on it the next time. I polished a little bit on the front bumper, and it's turning out really nice. Really like the way that's looking. Nice and shiny. It's pitted a little bit, but I want to use those because they've got that that in them so if he hits something it's just gonna kind of bounce off and they're pretty strong I don't know if I'm gonna leave the two blades like they are there and I'm not completely done polishing on those I've just taken a flapper disc and got off the rough stuff so I'll figure out how I'm gonna position those and what I'm gonna do with those and I'll probably do that after the body's on so we can make sure we're positioned correctly with the body but uh, come along you got new uh, pads here on the pedals, roll bars in, turn signal I have figured out with a, gone over it with a voltmeter and we've figured out what's what. So that's ready to hook up. 
I need a kill switch on it. We need uh, mufflers, fake mufflers, tailpipes, his cup holder, of course, and polish up this back bumper. And of course, wire everything up, but we are in the home stretch. I had a seam here in the carpet. I don't know if you can see it. Right here. And it wanted to catch in the steering, so I just took a. made that little piece there so that it now has something to rub on and not catch on the carpet. I don't have it glued down yet, just a piece of plastic I painted. So that should work. If it doesn't, I'll put a piece of metal there and bolt it to the floor. Getting there. A lot of work in this little thing. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. And hopefully we've got this thing running next time. With lights and horns and bells and whistles. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.